Welcome to a special half hour of contemporary Christian music featuring the words and music of Dallas Home. With segments from Knott's Berry Farm, a special TBN soundstage, the recording studio, and a concert performance. I got love, love, love in my heart. I'm running the race, I'm running the race to win. Mm -hmm. I'm running the race, I'm running the race to win. Sometimes I Hi, I'm Dallas Home, and uh, I was just thinking of a song I wrote the other day. Uh, the title of the song is It's War. I find myself writing uh, quite a few songs these days that have to do with that, that theme of doing battle against the enemy and so forth. And there's a line in the song that says, why do we fight like we're losing the battle when the victory's already won? And I got such joy out of that one statement. When I think of that, uh, the world's getting kind of wicked, things are getting bad, we can we can get all down and depressed about it, but this is, this is the only fixed game in all of eternity. We already know the outcome, and that should make us uh, so excited to know that we are working together as soldiers in the army of the Lord to accomplish 
uh, an end that's already been determined. We are victorious. At the cross, Jesus was and is victorious. I would say the difference between a good song and an anointed one uh, is probably only realized in the response of the person that listens. There are many good songs. I've written some, hopefully, good songs. I know I would say that, I can only speak for myself, I would say that every song that I've written is anointed in the sense that it's because of the goodness of the Lord and, and because of his, his power and his interest in, in this ministry in my life. I mean, he is the, the motivating force behind it. But there, I notice, in, even in some of my songs, there's a difference. Uh, 
for example, between a song like Hey, I'm a Believer, which I, I feel is inspired of God, and Rise Again, which is anointed of God in a very unique and special way. I don't have any answer, any clue in the world why God picks one song and says, I will use this one, I will anoint this one, I will uh, use it in a very unique and special way. From a musical standpoint, I think I've written better songs than Rise Again. I think I've written lyrically a stronger songs than Rise Again. But God chose for some reason that I don't really know. He said, I'm going to use that. I, I put a special anointing on that. And uh, there is a difference. I don't know that I can define what the difference is other than how God uses it and, and what the response is in lives uh, that are touched by that song. again in 1976 uh, we were putting together the group praise and I felt at that time that I needed to write some new material and oftentimes I can just go in the studio or wherever sit down and write some songs and I kind of took that same approach that well I, I'll go write some material and I sat there for some time couldn't think of anything couldn't think of any music couldn't think of any new words and I began to do what I of course should have done in the first place got down and really prayed about it. And while I was praying, I said, well, Lord, if you were singing, what would you say? And that thought really stuck in my mind. I wonder what he would say in a song. And I would say in a matter of five, ten minutes, the song was there, the words, the music, and everything. There was just a very deep awareness that I wasn't writing the songs, it wasn't coming out of my head, but God was, in fact, communicating a message to me and through me. And I've often said God wrote the song, and I just delivered the message, and that's really how I feel about it. my name my love for you is still the same go ahead and bury me
Actually, uh, the last rite, of course, is uh, dealing with the, uh, the topic of the coming of the Lord, that, that uh, final moment of, of uh, time in life as we know it, uh, where we'll go to be with the Lord. And uh, I just wanted to figure out a different way to present that message rather than the, you know, we sing a lot of choruses and we have kind of a standard traditional approach to the coming of the Lord. I just wanted to say it in some new way, and I thought, uh, the last ride would be kind of a novel idea. I think it maybe, maybe kind of bothers some people that you refer to that moment as a ride, but it gets the point across. The most important thing in my life is my relationship with the Lord. Uh, that is the foundation for everything else. If my relationship with Him is what it should be, then my family relationships, my uh, ministry, all those things will follow automatically. But I, I find more and more that the, uh, the greatest concern of my life is that I'm spending time with the Lord and, and coming to know Him and grow in Him, because I believe that is the most important aspect of of this uh, little journey we call life. Running. 